and welcome to Serious About Sports TV. I'm Joe Needley and I'm back with another edition of the top five players from the Rugby League. Now this week, as well as from round 14, I'm going to bring you an edition that includes players from the semi-finals of the Challenge Cup that also took place just after the Super League. Now without further ado, we'll go straight to the players. And these five are a much more difficult choice this week, however these are the ones that I focused on. Fifth place, um, I have decided to go for War Warrington Wolves youngster, Josh Thulis. Now Thulis, he held Warrington Wolves into an 18-0 lead in midweek when both sets of youngsters from Salford and Warrington took to the field against one another. And though Warrington just missed out, just like they did at the weekend, I thought Thulis was very impressive in the game, helping Warrington into that 18-0 lead. OK, they ran out of steam a bit later on in the game. But his contribution of a try, nine tackles, two tackle busts, as well as 114 metres, he really got stuck in. He impressed the Sky commentary, the experts as we like to call them. And therefore, well, well, a well, re well worthy of a place in the top five. He comes in at fifth place though. And he's definitely one for the future for Warrington. They've got a good one there. He's hoping that they should hang on to him. Fourth place. Now this might seem a bit controversial, this one. I've decided to go for another loser, if you could say that. I've decided to go for Hull KR's Matt Parcell. Now, Parcel, although Hull KR did have a slow start in their defeat to Huddersfield, they were 18 0 down at half time. But Parcel stormed out and scored a second half hat trick against the Giants, as well as making 37 tackles, 11 busts, and 103 metres from just 10 carries. Parcel's always, be, always been a quality player. I mean, he's already got a Super League Grand Final win under his belt. But really, though, I mean, he's been after he's been after a new deal at Hull KR, and I mean, and well worthy of it, as to say, because. Um, He's still a quality player, his attack is second to none, and he almost helped Hull KR to an, un an unbelievable comeback win. And although it wasn't the case, he's still got plenty more to offer the East, the East Hull club, and definitely one to look forward to in the future. Third place, I have decided to go for St Helens' um, starlet, Lachlan Coote. Now Coote, two try assists in the game in their 42-0 win over Wigan. OK, it was a young Wigan side. They saved their best for the semi-final and although that did not go well for them either. Taking nothing away from St Helens, you can only play what's in front of you and to win 42-0 like that was just emphatic. Coote with his two try assists, his five tackle busts and as well as that, 124 metres from 16 carries. It was just, it's just always, you can always count on Coote to be a solid all-round player, both in attack as we just said there. But even defence as well, helping to keep Wigan down to nil. I mean, it's not the first time St Helens have done that this season. I mean, even in the lockdown, they've already done it to the likes of the Leeds Rhinos. And this one against Wigan was no different. As well as the Castleford Tigers too, let's not forget that one. And they have Lachlan Coote to thank for this. His defence is second to none. And ends why he's once more included. So Lachlan Coote comes in at third place. Now second, now this might seem a bit uh, controversial as well, I've decided to go for Huddersfield's Aidan Caesar. Caesar managed three tries in their win over Hull KR, but as well as that, well, five, well, from even though he only made 26 metres from five carries and two tackle busts, it was mainly his three tries and three attacking kicks. C Caesar is arguably one of their greatest ever signings so far in the summer era, and that's saying something because Huddersfield have had some quality players, especially halfbacks. But Caesar, he really has come to the form and he's really steering Huddersfield to some fantastic form. Three wins from three now under interim coach Luke Robinson. But Caesar has been a big part of that of their turnaround in form. And he's just keeping his form going. So he comes in at runner up. First place, without further ado, uh, he starred in both the league and cup wins for the Salford Red Devils. I decided to go for juggernaut Chris Naninu. Yes, that's right, Chris Naninu comes at first place this week. Now, in the league, well, combined between them, in the league, 125 metres from 15 carries as well as three tackle busts. But not to mention his goal kicking as well. He's, he's trying the Challenge Cup and then in the Challenge Cup as well, he managed to try in four goals that was that helped Salford ultimately overcome Warrington against all the odds. Salford have really seemed to have turned over a new leaf, um, as Ian Watson said. And it's, it seems to be ever since Chris Naninu has come back. I'm not saying it's all down to him. But Chris Naninu was a forgotten player, if some fans remember correctly. But ever since his return, I mean, the Alden has really come to the fore as well. I mean, he's scoring tries for fun, making metres for fun, and he's showing everyone that he's far from finished with the game as of yet. 
So plenty more to come from Inu as he and Solvud hope to, well, they're going to run out at Wembley for the first time in over 50 years a week on Saturday, pending that uh, the, the ongoing coronavirus pandemic will not halt proceedings, that is, but more of that to come. But yeah, that's that's the main reason why your news featured at number one. I mean, he, he also features as a bit of a halfback as we've seen him take some big kicks as well as drop goal attempts too. It's that adaptation and that quality which really makes him a dangerous player. Anyway, that's all we've got time for this week. Those are the five players I've chosen. Let us know in the comments section whether you agree. We'll be on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram as well. That's Serious About Sports TV YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and get the latest videos and latest info from us. I mean, on behalf of the website series about Rugby League as well, make sure you follow us on there. I'm Joe Needley. Once again, thank you for watching.